Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to resin a piece of art. So I start out by propping up my pieces on solo cups because the resin will drip a little bit and I just don't want it to get stuck to the table. Um, and now I'm taking my level tool to make sure the pieces are level because I want a nice even layer of resin on the artwork. So now you can see that I am about to measure out the amount of resin I need um, using a scale. It measures in fluid ounces. And um, Art Resin, which is the brand I use, actually has an online tool that helps you calculate how much resin you need um, based on the dimensions of your piece. The next step is to mix the liquid for three full minutes because you want to make sure part A and part B are fully mixed together. And um, when that's done, you can spread it on the surface of your piece. I like to use plastic utensils that I just, you know, collect from takeout meals. Um, any utensils I have left over, I'll use. So this is a close-up view of me spreading resin on some different pieces than in the um, previous shot, but I just wanted to show you like a close-up view of this process because it is clear, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, I just want to make sure I get the resin spread out to all the edges of the piece, and I find that using a plastic knife... Um, works really well. And once you have the resin evenly spread on the surface, you will take a blowtorch and pop all of the air bubbles that are in the resin. So something happens where um, when you are mixing the two liquids together, all of these air bubbles form in the resin. You can see in this close-up view how the resin looks really cloudy. Um, so what the blowtorch does is it bursts all of those little bubbles and um, makes the resin cl crystal clear again, which is what we want. And um, I recommend holding that blue flame about an inch and a half from the resin because you don't want to burn the resin. You just want to hold it close enough to pop all of those bubbles. So when you're satisfied with that, you need to cover the piece because it's liquid and it takes 24 hours to solidify. Um, and you don't want dust or anything getting in the resin while it's hardening because then it'll permanently be part of the piece. But yeah, now I'm un I've uncovered these pieces and you can see how shiny they are. The surface has fully hardened and um, I think it just adds a really nice finish to the piece. It's really great for collage because it has a way of just kind of flattening everything out. You can see some of the resin dripped down to the bottom um, because it dripped down the sides a little bit and we're going to sand that off in a minute I'll show you um, how I sand it as well so this is my sanding tool I got it at Home Depot it was not that expensive um, it has sandpaper on it and you turn it on and it's a great little sanding tool um, perfect size for what I need because I'm just I'm really just sanding off these small little pieces of resin along the edges that I didn't want and I'm outside for um, the sanding process because it does create quite a lot of dust and um, I just don't want that in my studio <laughs> so I'm outside and now you can see it's all nice and smooth and the final stage is just, you know, cleaning up the edges, painting the edges of the piece, um, 
just touching everything up because I sell these pieces unframed and um, I think they actually look pretty nice unframed with the edges painted. Um, it feels like a finished piece. And some of them I paint black and others I you'll see that I paint them white. And it really just kind of depends on the composition and kind of what I decide uh, will look the best. But that's really, this is the final stage um, other than just wiring the piece. But this is it. This is um, how to resin a, a piece from start to finish. At least how I resin a piece from start to finish. And um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.